हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज टाइम ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टूडेज लर्निंग इज टू रीड हाउ टू ड्रो अ क्लॉक एंड हाउ टू शो ओ क्लॉक टाइम ऑन इट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर टॉपिक आई एल टेल यू सम बेसिक फैक्ट्स अबाउट टाइम वन डे हैज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वन आवर हैज सिक्सटी मिनट्स वन मिनट हैज सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स Now children look at this clock what do you see on a clock numbers from 1 till 12 and two hands pointing to the numbers one hand is long and one hand is short the short hand shows the numbers of hours and it's called hour hand and the long hand shows the minutes and it's called minute hand the long hand has to complete one full round of a clock to make an hour when the long hand points to 12 it's called o clock time now let's learn to read o clock time when the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at any number we read the time as o clock time in the given clock the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 3 so the time is 3 o clock or 3 now let's have some other examples for better understanding of o clock time what time is it the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 1 so the time is 1 o'clock or 1 colon 0 0 now tell me the time on this clock the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 4 so the time is 4 o'clock or 4 colon 0 0 i hope you all have understood now let me check how much you have learned o clock time i will tell you where are the hands and you will tell me the time if the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 2 so what is the time yes the time is 2 o'clock or 2 colon 0 0 now move to the next example the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 6 then what's the time yes the time is Six o'clock or six colon zero zero. Now, the next example is: if the long hand is at twelve and the short hand is at nine, so what time is it? Yes, the time is nine o'clock or nine colon zero zero. Now the next is. If the long hand is at twelve and the short hand is at seven, so what time is it? Yes, it's seven o'clock or seven colon zero zero. Now, I am going to present how to draw a clock on copy. Kids, before start writing, you must draw the margin lines. with the help of scale as i have drawn two margin lines like this then put today's date at the left side of the page and write down c to w at the right side of the page then leave one line and before the margin line write down e x dot it means exercise and after the margin line write down exercise that is draw a clock spell draw d r a w draw 
draw a clock spell clock c l o c k clock showing time s h o w i n g showing showing time t i m e time 6 6 should be in the box 6 o clock c l o c k clock and at the end put full stop now the exercise is draw a clock showing time 6 o clock it means you have to draw a clock that shows time 6 o clock first we will leave two lines 1 and 2 now put your pencil on the third line now leave two boxes 1 and 2 now your pencil should be on the third box now from the third box you will start putting dot it means you have to put six dots 1 then move to the next box 2 again move 3 4 5 6 and 6 now again count your all dots 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now again put your pencil on the sixth dot now from the sixth dot you have to start putting dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 again from the sixth dot 1 2 3 4 5 pen 6 it means you have to put six six dots on all sides now we will join dots with the help of scale first put your scale on the dots and start joining dots you have to do it very carefully the line should be straight and your work should be neat after joining dots you will get a square now we will put crosses at the corner of a clock this is the corner of a clock so we will put cross here now where is the next corner here so again we will put cross here now move to the next corner and put cross this is the last corner of a clock so again we will put cross here now it's time to write numbers on a clock as we know a clock has 12 numbers first we will write number 12 at the top of a clock this is the top of a clock how many boxes are there one 2 and 3 we will write number 12 in the middle like this after writing number 12 we will start writing numbers from 1 clockwise first we will write number 1 after number 12 now what comes after number 1 2 so we will write number 2 here now what comes after number 2 3 after 3 4 what comes after 4 5 what comes after 5 6 six should be in front of number 12 after 6 7 what comes after 7 8 after 8 9 what comes after 9 10 after 10 11 12 is already written here so we have written numbers from 1 till 12 now we will draw two hands of a clock as we know a clock has two hands one is long and one is short but first we will put small dot in between 3 and 9 put small dot now what time we have to show o clock 
when o'clock is there the long hand is at number 12 so we will draw long hand at 12 the long hand always touches the number now what time is there 6 so we will draw short hand at number 6 short hand away from the number and it's small in size after showing time on a clock you will be writing leave one and two lines and before the margin line put number 1 number 1 is where is long hand long hand is at number 12 so we will write long the first letter of the sentence should be capital l o n g long hand h a n d hand is at 12 one should be in the one box and two should be in the next box and at the end put full stop again leave one line put number 2 number 2 is where is short hand short hand is at number 6 so write down S H O R T short hand is at six. Then put full stop. Leave one line. Put number three. Number three is now. What time is it? The time is six o'clock. So write down. S O S O, put comma. The time is is six o'clock. Six o clock. C L O C K clock or six. Colon zero zero and put full stop. Now let's recall what we have done. A clock has twelve numbers. It has two hands, long and short. Long hand tells us minutes. Short hand tells us hours. And reading of a clock. time now children open your snap homework and do the related exercises on copy thank you